It is a struggle, and I actually made a video on this recently, to get images from Google Drive into Google My Maps. You're very limited in what you can choose when you want to add an image. You either have to search for an image, and depending on the filtering at your school, that may be fruitless for your students, or you have to add an image URL, which, if you get from Drive, either doesn't show up at all or will only show up for about five minutes and then it goes black, uh, which we don't want either. However, there is a way to use images in Google Drive and not have to move them anywhere else. So, as you can see right here, I have these two images on this point on my map, and they're both Google Drive images. But, I use the ability to host a website on Google Drive to be able to get the links that work for this. So, here's the process for that. I went ahead and created a folder. Photos for use with My Maps. So if you're going to use some fo use photos in My Maps, it'd be really helpful to do this to have a folder where you put those pictures, uh, because it's going to simplify the process. Then you need to make sure that you share that folder. And what I clicked on is probably going to share that file. So I want to click on this, share the folder, and I want it so that it's public. If I go to more. These will be public on the web so anybody can view. So then everything inside this folder will inherit that share setting. So everything in here is public. Then there's a little bit of trickery involved here. So we are inside of this folder. And here's the URL up here. And what we need is this ID. So we have this ID. This string right here is the ID to this folder. So all we're going to do is we're going to change this first part to googledrive.com slash host slash. So when we do that and hit enter, we are now at the website of that folder, which is pretty cool. And the shortcut helps us because now when I click on any one of these, it now takes me to the website of that image. And your link up here has the dot image extension on it, which is exactly what you need for my maps. So now I can copy that. I can go into my maps and I can find a point, edit it, add an image, paste the image URL. It'll load up the image. We'll click select and then we'll save. And like the other one shows, they stayed. I did these half an hour ago and they're still here. Uh, so this will be permanent, this will stay, and that is how you can use Google Drive images inside My Maps. That might be a little tough at first for your students, uh, but no doubt uh, is it a lot simpler, especially for students and other options, because most cases they won't have access to something like Google Plus or Flickr at school. So enjoy.